my name is Joe Kinlaw, K-I-N-L-A-W. Uh, we're in Little Italy, San Diego. The wall horses life. Wild horses life. Um, wild horses life in our modern society. Um, I think that they only really exist in um, very rural areas still, but for the most part, I don't think wild horses really play a part in our urban society. I'm a public affairs specialist with the U.S. Bureau of Land Management. I've been with the agency for a little over seven years. Uh, wild horses can be found on public lands throughout the western United States in places like Nevada, uh, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, uh, all throughout the western tier of states. And the Wild Horse and Burrow Adoption Program is actually an extension of our management responsibility uh, for wild horses and burrows on public lands. So uh, as part of our, uh, as, a, as a necessary adjunct uh, to our management role, uh, horses that we remove from the range, we offer for, a pub, uh, for adoption to the public uh, throughout the country. Edgar, watch out for my camera. I love training Mustangs because it does a couple things. It it shows you where your holes are in your training program because uh, they're a challenge. They're a lot more challenging than domestic horses initially, um, and so it makes you uh, um, it makes you really really um, it, it pushes your training techniques. It makes you have to think outside the box. Well, the expectations for that this particular event, the Mustang Magic, is to um, basically I'm taking a wild horse, teaching it. Um, to be, to be broke. I'm, I'm training it. I'm teaching it to be ridden. Just general um, uh, riding uh, expectations. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry, and I'll probably yell at her. I'll probably yell at her and say, you "Bad, bad, bad horse. You are just terrible." No, uh, it won't be her fault. If if we don't win, it won't have anything to do with her performance. She's giving me everything she's got. Uh, the slaughter industry right now for horses, horse slaughter was banned in the United States uh, in 2007 and pretty simply because we don't want it here. Um, however, when legislator was written, legislation was written, it was done so in the manner that did not protect them from still crossing our borders and being slaughtered in Canada and Mexico. The slaughter industry exists because there's a demand for horse meat overseas and it also exists because of the money. Uh, I do not believe that the horses indigenous to this land are overpopulated. The problem that we do have, however, are other breeds that are not wild horses that we continue to overbreed, which I think there needs to be better regulation on that because then we could stop sending so many to slaughter. A wild Mustang is wild, okay? And it's, it's not a horse that's been in the pasture that's been away from things. You, I love people that have a cause. I think everybody should have a cause. Save the whales, save the dolphins, save the horses. I love that. I think it's a beautiful thing. If you lack experience, if you lack the knowledge of what a horse is doing, if you think that this beautiful creature does not consider you a predator and you place your children and your family in this kind of harm um, without proper knowledge from another trainer, I think that you've not only done yourself a total disservice, but you're missing the horse experience. Your support is very important for the completion of this documentary and uh, 
who would like the, that you can help us in, in any way that you can. Bargains and